hoy, hey straw, I'm Parker and together we are the Metal Hammer. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, today I, uh, it's another episode of Parker Paints um, and today I'm going to be painting some civilians for um, while we're Sextodus. They come in the, I think it's the Lynch Mob Posse box which has got Judge Stern and nine civilian models that you can use as either an angry mob uh, or civilians. I'm going to be using them as civilians um, and I will be painting white uh, in two or three different ways and I'll kind of expound on my thoughts about it, things I've learnt from the internet and uh, stuff like that. Um, big thing about painting white is you know don't paint white, paint nearly white um, because otherwise it can look a bit stark and bright and whatnot. Um, so, I think that's it. Without any further ado, on to the next bit. Okie dokie. So this lovely lady here is one of the civilians, um, an old grandma with a, with a dull browed shotgun, which is uh, probably a, an RJ shotgun or something like that. But anyway, she just counts as a civilian. Uh, I've done a Zenithal Prime, as you can see, um, and I'm going to be doing a kind of a browner, beigier kind of white. Working from khaki through to, I think this is birch, uh, ivory from Vallejo, off white from Vallejo, and I do actually have some uh, De La Rowney acrylic ink. A lot of people like Liquitex as well. Um, I haven't tried that one, I'm, you know, I'm not going to buy it just to see if one's marginally better than the other. But a white ink is good. Um, I have heard lots of very good things about uh, a, like an artist's heavy body acrylic, like a Schmincke or a Windsor and Newton type thing, um, but not something I've used myself. Um, so I'm going to start by just giving her dress a a base coat with the khaki, and then ramble on a little bit. I think. The thing about painting white is it's just a funny thing. If you paint it just plain bright white, then it can look kind of off and stark against everything else on the model. Um, if you paint it too much of another colour, then it doesn't really look like white. Your, your brain has to read it as being white. And that's probably the hardest bit. Because in real life, things aren't white. You know, even white things, because white is like an absence of colour, as it were. The big part is making sure that you um, get the highlights right, really. Too much and it looks really bright and stark and weird. Not enough and it looks not like white. So I'm just going to start with the base coat of this uh, khaki. in a bit. Um, I'm probably only going to do one coat because I want to still see that zenithal through underneath so I can use it to my advantage. Okay, so I've done that. Um, I did end up doing about uh, almost one and a half coats, so like two coats on most of the places and then leaving some of the recesses. Um, I've now added some of the um, birch to uh, 
the um, previous color which was uh, khaki and I'm just going to highlight but this is going to be a big broad highlight you know I want to get not everywhere but because ultimately we're going to highlight up to what pretty much white so you're only leaving the khaki in the deepest recesses So now I'm going to be going in with the uh, almost pure ivory. And again, you still want these highlights to be pretty big. Because ultimately this is going to turn out, hopefully, looking white. The only issue I'm going to have in a video like this, I say the only one, apart from being a mediocre painter, is going to be... Um, because they're against Zenithal Primes, if I try and paint them looking white, they're probably not going to look too white against what is essentially white. Um, but I need to get these bits done first because that's what I'm filming. Hopefully, it'll make more sense once it's uh, once it comes out. Really start to see how bright the birch is getting now. Because we had that um, mix of the birch and the khaki, um, it helps to transition those two colours together, which is nice. that done you can see it's looking a lot paler now um, I've added some ivory to my birch and we're going with that And uh, now I'm going to go in with some ivory. It's just straight ivory with a little bit of um, medium. In this case, I've been using Water Plus from In Star Paints. In 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 Star Paints quite a lot. Um, just because I wanted to try it out, and I like that it's it's kind of a looser medium, unlike a lot of the glaze mediums and stuff like that can kind of thicken the paint which is fine but I like that Warp Plus kind of acts more like water for it's kind of obvious now I've said it out loud but um, it doesn't thicken the paint up any which is you know not better or worse just different and I like it So now I'm going to go in with this off-white from Vallejo, added that to the ivory, but it's mostly the off-white. This will be my final highlight. I'm not going to go with the bright white because I don't want it to look too, you know, stark. 
stark. And do bear in mind that any colour as it goes on wet will appear brighter. So there we have her finished, well her skirt is pretty much finished I think. Um, it's come out a smidge less good than I would like. Um, I don't know how well you can see but there is a little bit of chalkiness. I think I didn't blend it as well as I could have done. Um, but once that's finished I think against other colours that will look, that will kind of read to the eye as being white. Which is what I'm just going for, so that's good, and that's kind of a, you know, a beigey, browny kind of white rather than a, a blue kind of white, which is actually what I'm going to be doing next, is how to do a bluey white. Now, you know, you might want either of those for different things. When you think of snow and ice, that tends to be a blue or white. Um, if you want something that, depending on the rest of your paint scheme, you know, if I'm painting her. In lots of, if I'm painting this lady in lots of blues, then I don't necessarily want to do a blue white. I might want to do a um, a warmer white like this is. Um, so really, it depends on what else it's going with. It's you know, it's nice to have both kinds of white, or even just a plain grey white. But then that can look a bit blah. But again, if you've got lots of colours going on, maybe that's what you want. Uh, I could put, if I really wanted to, I could re-accentuate some of those things but I think I'm good with that if I wanted to yeah, I could glaze in some more khaki or whatever to darken down certain bits but I think that's going to have to wait until I finish the rest of the model so I can see how it's going to look um, so next I'm going to do a blue white on to the next bit ok so I am going to be doing Femrisian Grey into Arctic Blue into Off White and then I might actually go really bright because um, this is another civilian model um, and this is a shotgun wedding shotgun wedding dress so I want to do a you know a light blue kind of white for the dress um, and I think I'm going to try something a bit different or maybe I won't, we'll see But it's from Rizzy and Grey. I'm going to go into all of the. Um, just do a quick. Because it is white already, you know, with the Zenithal Prime. So. Because a lot of primer has. some form of blue in it. I'm not super worried about getting this full coverage. Really, it's more a case of it, it lightening up the black than anything else. So I'm just going to give a quick once over with the Fimrizi and Grey. So now I'm going to be going in with some of this Arctic Blue. This is a very light blue grey kind of colour.
I'm just going to kind of go in pretty sketchy with this. Only leaving Arctic blue in the very deepest recesses. Uh, sorry, from Rising and Grey. Starting to look pretty blue, so I'm going to make sure that I go in now with the off white and because I really want this to be kind of a brighter white. So I'm going to go in quite heavily with the off white and then do white ink. I might even do something else after that. Now I've done that stage, I'm going to go in again, and this time I am going in with pretty much pure white. Um, I wouldn't always do a pure white on a quote-unquote white, um, because it can look too stark. But as this is supposed to be a wedding dress, we want it to look fab you -less. So I'm just going to really make those highlights pop. what that looks like after it's done. Um, obviously it looks quite blue there. Um, I may well go in and you know redo the highlights a little bit and may well do a bit more blending. Um, not super happy with it because white is tricky to paint and I'm not a great painter but I think it looks okay. Um, and I'll show you when they are both finished. Hopefully they will look really cool. So there we go, uh, they are not finished but uh, done enough that you can tell the white against everything else so the zenithal doesn't look super obvious. Um, let us know in the comments down below if you've got any other ideas on painting white. There are obviously lots of other videos that are probably much more informational than I am about how you paint white on minis. Um, so let us know in the comments down below if you know any and put links in if you can. Um, they're not quite finished yet, I will be finished the, finishing them and if I get any more uh, how to paint videos out of these guys and the rest of the box they came in, they will most assuredly be on the channel. Um, if you want to help the channel out, um, we've got a Patreon account, uh, you can donate as little as a dollar a month, that would be massively helpful, although we do appreciate that in these troubling times, probably, you know, don't bother. <laughs> if you can then great um, if you've got any comments leave them in the in the comments box down below we really I personally really appreciate uh, anything you put in there whether it be positive negative or just averagey style feedback um, if you do nothing else uh, there's one thing you can do that is a huge help make sure that you don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. But we would like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay hammered.